We are a dedicated team of hardcore outdoor enthusiasts committed to conserving hunting and fishing traditions. Although technology changes, we still strive to entertain the everyday outdoors. If you like fast-paced, hardcore southern hunting and fishing action, keep up with us and hold on. We are 704 Outdoors. Outdoors TV show is brought to you by Barefoot Archery, North Carolina's leading archery dealer since 1966. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Daniel with 704 Outdoors. If you were with us last week, you got to see Corey team up with Cabela's and Make-A-Wish Foundation for a special event. Uh, then we took it to the woods, and John Rowland and Lee Howard knocked down a few turkeys. Uh, well, now it's my turn. I'm headed up to Greensboro, go hunt with my buddy Sandy Brady, and after that, John, you know, he's always chasing that bacon, so he's going to be in the woods this evening trying to do a little hunting, see if he can't knock down a hog. 704 out here in uh, Greensboro. We have uh, Sandy Brady behind the camera for us today. He's also calling. Uh, he's going to try and put me on my first bird, so stay tuned. There you go. I see him straight out in front over your gun barrel, about a hundred yards. See?
Looking for the best archery experience? Barefoot Archery in Charlotte should be in your sight. Whether it's backyard recreation, hunting, or 3D competition, we have the right equipment for you. In business since 1966, Barefoot Archery is the authorized dealer in the 704 area for Matthews, Hoyt, PSE, Baron Mission Crossbows, and we have a large selection of recurve bows. Our experienced staff services most compounds and crossbows and can help you make the right choice for your archery equipment. From professional to backyard shooting, Barefoot Archery will get you on target. Barefoot Archery, 4410 Old Pineville Road in Charlotte. Just got my first collar. You can talk louder now, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great job, Daniel. Yeah, buddy. Oh, beautiful bird, dude. Oh, man. Tell me about it. That was awesome. We uh we came in this morning and and uh ended up actually driving right underneath this bird. Uh came over to the property just to listen out and see if we couldn't get on some and and uh drove underneath him. Got out of the truck and hit the alcohol, and every time we hit, he would respond. So, uh, uh, went ahead and got situated, got the, uh, got the decoy up, and uh, tucked ourselves in, and there he is. Let's go see your first bird. Yeah. <laughs> Live action, brother. Oh, baby. <laughs> That is beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Big bird. <laughs> Sorry, folks. My uh, <laughs> my leg is dead on me. Here. Oh, man, that is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, y'all, I finally got it done. You know, I've been in front of the camera, behind the camera, all over the state chasing these birds, and things finally came together. I'm just glad I got to share the experience with you. Now let's go jump in the truck with John, see if we can't knock down a hog. Well, y'all, we burn up the road trying to beat the darkness here. We're headed over here to a spot in uh, Cabarrus County, trying to kill some hogs, help the farmer out. Uh, got my little cousin with me. Come out here and uh, take Ryan to see uh, see if uh, we can experience this first hog hunt with us. 
Uh, he ain't quite ready to shoot some hogs with a bow yet, but we brought mine. He's gonna come and hang out and see it in action. But uh, we're gonna come out here and see if we can't slay him one quick because it's hot. We're gonna have to hurry up and get this pig out and get into the house and skin him out because we don't want that pork to get ruined. So uh, not much filming going to the stand because like I said, it's a race against time. We got to get in that stand before dark because the pigs are gonna be there right at dark. So uh, hang out with us. We're gonna kill some pigs, y'all. <laughs> what did we tell you we didn't even get to the stand and those hogs were already there so we got set up and tried to turn around real easy and guess what we had a bait site full of bacon there's all this talk around town about how great Hal's pawn and gun shop is in Concord North Carolina people keep talking about all the different gun manufacturers they carry like Glock Springfield Smith and Wesson Remington Arms and so many more and I hear they have ammo holsters stocks and grips and specialize in gun repairs modifications and custom builds plus they have any style of gun whether it's for sport shooting hunting guns or tactical weapons Hal's pawn and gun shop 595 Church Street North in Concord North Carolina when you like to play in the dark like we do, you need equipment that works. 3D night vision units are lightweight, durable, and versatile. They mount on any daytime rifle scope, field tested, punished, and proven on a wide range of large bore caliber rifles. Coyotes, critters, and wild hogs don't stand a chance. 3D night visions are the most affordable night vision units on the market at only $299. Order yours today at 3dnightvision.com. This segment is brought to you by 3D Night Vision, the most versatile and affordable clip-on night vision unit on the market. Visit 3dnightvision.com for more details. Well, y'all, let's take a second and talk a little bit about the archery equipment that we use when chasing hogs at night. Here is my Ben Pearson Recon, and as you can tell, the first thing that sticks out is that light that's on the front of it. That is a Sniper Hog Lights 30LR. It has a stud on the back of the tail cap that screws into the stabilizer hole on your riser. It has a pressure switch on the tail cap, and it mounts right in your grip with some Velcro, and you've got your low beam and then you've got your high beam and as you guys can tell from the footage that joker is bright i could have killed that hog the entire time with low beam however i put it on high beam so you guys could see it but looking back at the footage i could have left it on low the whole time but hey didn't matter the red light does not bother the hogs these sniper hog lights are the best hog lights on the market make sure you guys check them out and go to our facebook page twitter instagram any of our social media outlets and we're going to be answering questions 
all day today on the different mounting options and the different things we do as far as our peep, our sights, our arrows, our broadheads, and the different things that we tweak our archery equipment so we can chase hogs at night. But right now, it's time to get after some hogs. Look like a little boar. And, uh, man, it didn't take long at all. When we came in, those hogs were actually here already. But hey, uh, y'all, we smoked it with the Pearson Recon. But uh, I shoot a really heavy weight setup. Some pile drivers with 125 grain broadheads. Got it all at Barefoot Archery. And uh, we could still hear them hogs. So we're gonna hold tight for like 10, 15 more minutes. Then we're going to get down and get this hog because it's hot. We need to get it out and get it back to the house before it spoils. All right, y'all. This segment is brought to you by Black Butterfly Ammunition. Elegant designs for wicked destruction. This segment is brought to you by Ergo. We don't make guns, we make guns better. Hey guys, we just got down and uh, we're gonna check our arrow real quick. It was a good clean pass through, so we're gonna go grab it and uh, 
find the hog. It's hot, so we gotta get this thing out of here. Plus there's hogs in that swamp. I can still hear them, so we're gonna get this joker and get them out. So we come back later on this week and smoke another one. Come on. in my nocturnal. size boar right there all right well we got probably uh last year last year's hog hey y'all we got it done got it done with the old pearson smoked them guys look at that look at that perfect one shot look at the air coming out of them. well y'all it's been a heck of a night it's hot so we're gonna hurry up Get this hog, get him out of here, and uh, take care of him, get him in the cooler so we don't spoil the pork. But as you can see, you know, you can still see the moonlight breaking through the trees, so it's still early. We're gonna get him out, get out of here. That way, we can come back here later on this week and smoke another one because as y'all on the video, there's tons of them. So, mm, getting it done, boys, 704 style. Come on. Well, y'all, that was fast. Ryan did an awesome job, man. He caught all of it on film for us. And, uh, man, the Pearson did his job. We uh, smoked that hog. Man, special thanks to Jesse and Bowen over there at Barefoot. Got me set up on those uh, heavy arrows and broadheads. And uh, they got the job done. That hog didn't go 30 yards, but we're driving back there right now. And I don't normally do this, but it's hot. Man, it is hot. As you can see, we are sweating like crazy so we're gonna go in here and uh get this hog get him back to the house get him clean and in a cooler asap so that pork don't spoil so if you guys ever try hog hunting you know it's great to take pictures and all that stuff but hey the serious business is don't you let that hog spoil so we're gonna grab this joker snap a picture or two and get him in the cooler so y'all hang tight we're gonna go pick up some pork i don't know why I've been calling him my cousin all night on film. This is my brother-in-law, Ryan. He's in town for the summer. Um, luckily, Ryan showed up right when I was packing my stuff, ready to go out tonight. And he said, hey, you mind if I tag along? And so we threw him in some camouflage and he came out and he did an awesome job catching the whole hunt on film. But uh, we got there and I told him, I said, there's probably a chance they're going to be there when we get there. They and were. They were. They were. There was, a deer, there was one deer, a couple... Saccoon, possum, all kinds of stuff. Well, yeah, the deer were in the field, and that's why I told him. I said, "Hey, we're good. The deer in our field, the hogs ain't here." We walked the edge of the woods. There they are. <laughs> the hogs were there. So. As soon as we got in the stand, here they come, just walking yep. in the feed. These hogs, they left briefly, turned around, came, came back. right back in. Once we got in the stand, got the camera set up, got quiet, and uh, they just come in. But we had the sniper hog lights on them, as you've seen. Uh, didn't spook them at all. And a special thanks to Barefoot Archery for the arrow setup. They set me up with pile drivers with 125 grain muzzy trocars, and it punched right through this hog. Um, a lot of times with your uh, archery equipment, sometimes they don't get a pass through. These animals are tough, but man, that was an awesome hunt. And uh, hey, the Pearson done it. Uh, I'm super tickled with the Pearson recon. Tons of hogs over there, y'all, so stick around. Uh, we're gonna get it back after some of them. And uh, hey, well, we got some pork for the weekend. This episode is brought to you by Barefoot Archery, Black Widow Deer Lures, Frosty Bottom Tree Stands, Howl's Pawn and Gun, and Sniper Hog Lights. Thank you to these other contributors.